presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, comment allez-vous. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So well, We uh, appreciate your growling question. problem with us. Yeah, 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 sir. I've done gold reports reports and all the softwares and all your books and read it generational thank you you are, seminars, thank so you so much appreciate it yes sir now tom o'brien Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week we go seven hours a day we go 24 hours a day in the internet at tfnn.com always remember folks Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Kicking off uh, another week here. Don't make assumptions. Assume nothing. In any kind of relationship, we can make the assumption that others know what we think, and we don't have to say what we want. We assume that they are going to do what we want because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt, and we think, how could you do that? You should know. Get rid of the gray, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 404, NASDAQ up 59, SPs up 34. Gold, gold contract down $3.90, traded at 1972 an ounce. We have silver down 52 cents, 23 dollars 19 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 56, down 56 cents, 82 dollars 26 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10 year note flat. 111.04, the 30 year down 14 ticks at 121.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 25 ticks, trading 102.042. Euro is at 110, yen is at 142, British pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? Well, we'll go into the futures first. We'll take a look. If you, we just did that update, the futures just, it had a spike and did, <laughs> it's pretty amazing actually. The spike got it right to the 0.618 of the, you can see that green line, that's the 0.618 of the downdraft on Friday. Now, when you first do a 0.618 retracement, right, the next leg down normally doesn't take out the low. I mean, you know, I'm basically bisect and dissect this on an intraday basis, but that's how this works out, folks, okay? So I suspect it's gonna try to test it right now. That's the 4536. Uh, we actually, well, I mean, now let me just see something. We, we just went to, let's see what this is. And this one here, put it this way. I believe we just tested it, actually. That's what we just did. Okay, so we made on this one 45, 35, 25. Yeah. So more than likely that was the test. Let me see how many minutes we got here. Yeah, you get nine minutes. So that was on. So we were going into 27,000 contracts. This is 16,000 contracts. Yeah, so this looks to me like that was the test. Yeah, it is. Now, so we'll see how this baby shakes out now because what you have, uh, this is where this gets intriguing now. <laughs> so watch this. The volume is actually down at 45.19 and we actually get an ABC structure down that is still there from Friday. It's a complex one now because we went on the other side of the B. If I bring up the SPY, you're gonna see how this works out. Bring up the SPY, what you're gonna see out here is that on Friday, market gave it up in spades. The B point out here was that 447. You needed uh, 64 million shares. We ended up with 100. Bottom line is that now you're on the other side of the B. You're coming back up with light volume, and that's what, you know, bottom line is saying that, okay, it's a complex one. So as long as you go back up with light of volume, that ABC is still in place. And as long as it doesn't get above that uh, 452, 
which would be the, uh, let's see, 450, 289, which is the C point. And the X100, let's go take a look at the Qs, the three Qs, three Qs out here, they're, they're the same setup, they're moving up, you got a contraction of volume in a monster way. The Qs did reject uh, 371 out here this morning, you're trading 374. That's, that being said, you know, now the Qs, yeah, the Qs did an ABC down too. So the bottom line is that this is still a complex ABC also, you know, we're going into uh, 61 million shares, you get 31 right now. We go to the notes and bonds. We take a look at the 10-year note and bond because they're both the 10 and the 30, folks, okay? The bottom line is that the, the 10, if we take a look at the 10, the 10 basically saved itself. Well, first what it did, it blew apart the bottom of the consolidation. Then, bottom line, on, on Friday, this thing went from uh, 109.24 to 111.10 which is a monster number, by the way, okay, for 10, for the 10-year. So that's it back inside the range again. That it'd have to build cars, move sideways, go back and forth in order to get the higher price. We look at the 30. Now, the 30 has a lot of work to do because the 30 blew its consolidated low out a long time. Not a long time ago, but it, it, 30 has to get above 122.30. Uh, 30 had gone, had a good day on Friday, went from 119.25 to 122.09. That being said, that has to get back inside the 122.30 area. And then we get over to King Dollar. King Dollar is the number here, man. King Dollar, you know, we'll see whether, you know, this is pretty close. It could be setting up an ABC up. That's the way this thing is looking. You know, your first swing point out here is the 101.572. But it looks to me like uh, the way this is setting up right now, we very well could get to the next one, which is 104, uh, 699, which would be, uh, that would be some heavy pressure on the markets. And then we go to the gold contract. Gold contract, you know, bottom line, I do the gold report on Mondays. You know, this gold, you know, bottom line is not done going down yet. You get gold, you're down 390 right now. You do have light volume, rejected lower price on Friday. You know, we had, we got to 19, we got to 1954 on Friday. You had volume out there of 156,000 contracts. Yeah, this is not done, man. That's the bottom line. That's telling me that the dollar's not done going up uh, yet either, okay? Because you get that, the correlation, man. I mean, gold just went from a price point of 2028. It's getting close to the bottom. It's the consolidation. A few of the gold stocks actually blew out the bottom of the consolidation. And, you know, most of them are okay, but they're, they're very close to uh, basically going the next leg down. Because if they blow out this consolidation, uh, then you got to get out of the way. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Some of the high-volume equities out here. you got uh, Tesla down 4 bucks. We have uh, Amazon up 236. You got, uh, let's see, what else we got here? Well, we're going to have our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, coming back next. You just stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kickstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 381. You get the NASDAQ up 54. S&Ps are up 32. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding program here every trading day. Also, a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You hit newsletters, it's in our top row, right-hand side. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. Get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. You get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593.33%. And when you get the newsletter, folks, you're going to get all of Steve's tools that he uses each and every day to check out the market. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Come over to our website, hit that newsletter button, hit Mastering Probability. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, you know, for us folks down here in uh, Florida, uh, summer's over. School starts. School started today. I know. Oh, it starts today up in Tampa. Okay, it, we've got Wednesday that, here. Yeah. It, well, it's that today, and then it's full blown Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that How crazy? About that? I know. Yeah, especially I mean, remember, you being from Detroit, we from Boston. I mean, it, yes. it was always, folks, uh, the Thursday after Labor Day. Yeah, exactly. That's right. where that's where I was going. So I mean, in my mind, right, we're still there, right? We we learned that when we were kids. So it's kind of amazing. You're going back to school already. It's just August. Seriously, and today is one of the hottest days we've had. So it's like, oh God, bless them, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I heard you talking about um, price getting up to that forty-five, thirty-five area inside the ES Mini. So although this was not necessarily part of the part of what I was going to go through, I thought it pertinent, pertinent for especially for those folks that are trading the futures or just simply want to understand what the market is communicating to us. So if we take a look at the uh, two hour time frame chart out here, I'll just simply expand it out. What we'll see is uh, 4535 is a key area of, of resistance. So why did price get up to that level today and stop? And it did that a couple of times, as you mentioned. And what we'll see out here, you said 4535 and a quarter, one tick. Well, 4535 and a quarter, that is the top of this bearish structured profile for the two-hour time frame. Okay. And what I want folks to understand is that if we do get it close, so this chart here is going to close, this time frame will close at 4 o'clock, and the next bar would be 6 to 8, and then 8 to 10, so people can follow along. If price closes on a two-hour basis above that 45-35 level, we get back, likely get back to the Friday highs out there. And that was the uh, highs that came in around 130 or so, 1-130. 
up at the 45.60 level. And if price gets above that, you, you run up to 46.01. But that's not where we're at right now because price hasn't taken out that resistance. But I just wanted to show folks. And when, 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 Tom, when I'm, when I'm doing analysis of charts and certainly during the show out here um, from, from 11 to 12 each day, when price starts hitting resistance levels on one time frame, like here is a two hour time frame, what I look for is are there topping signals on the intraday charts? Yes. And so those intraday charts here, I've got a 10 and a 15 minute chart now up for the ES mini. And what we can see, I'll just simply expand out the 15 minute chart to begin with. What we'll see out here, one of the patterns that I teach folks are the TD9 counts. In fact, on uh, Friday, when we had that nice rally going to the market, I posted into the den around 12.30 or 1 o'clock that there were TD9 tops that were forming and for each of the 30-minute charts and the 15-minute uh, charts as well. And I suggested people that we're going to see the first run to the downside. I gave them a, an initial price target and obviously we kept going south. So these TD9 counts are really important. And in fact, as price was hitting that resistance level on the two hour chart, we had a TD9 count. So what did it do? You know, in the shorter term timeframes, I'm totally trying to understand the longer term time frame, what's it gonna do? Well, what I know is on a shorter term time frame, it's gotta start breaking levels of support. So just because we have a top doesn't mean that that's it, it's curtains. It could just mean that price is gonna pull back to test support and then move higher. Well, in this case here, the support levels that we'd be looking at would be those TAS market profiles. We looked at the two hour market profile here's the bottom here's the 15 minute profiles and price just simply pulled back in that level of support didn't do anything now i'll give folks a couple of numbers to pay attention to overnight this is just a 15 minute chart but still the number is going to be important and if we start seeing price on a 15 minute base close below 45.18 that tells us that we are headed lower out there so we've got a number at the top and we've got a number really at the bottom for overnight traders to kind of assess and understand what the market's communicating to us. So I thought I would just kind of stop, uh, share that share that with you and the folks that are listening. But Tom, I'm bringing more gifts. I'm bearing more gifts today. And I'll show you what some of those gifts are. And so folks that are watching on Tiger TV or they're listening inside the, uh, watching on the Tiger's Den, this would be an excellent opportunity to take a snapshot of this specific screen. That is, if you're interested in what the diamonds, the spies, the Qs, the IWM, or any of the sectors with inside the S&P 500, or how about just the Magnificent 7, and then a couple of those popular ETFs like the GLD, the SLV, the UNG, TLT, and USO. And the reason is, is because what I have here, and this is what subscribers get on a daily basis, they get this and much more than this, but certainly they get this. And what this Tom does is, I've used those tools that you say, so when people subscribe to Mastering Probability, they're gonna learn my tools, or I'm gonna teach them my tools, because I've got workshops out there that will do that. And they'll be able to also interpret what the markets are doing. So here, I just use all those tools. It's all automated. So if somebody was wondering on a daily basis, what are the Dow Diamonds doing right now? I've got them listed as consolidating, a consolidating bull market. If we look at the weekly time frame, so maybe you're more of an intermediate term trader for your longer term accounts, or maybe you, for your longer term trades, you use a monthly uh, outlook or a monthly time frame. So here we can see the weekly outlook is bullish. The monthly outlook is bullish. You kind of mentioned if you do a 0.618, retracement typically the next time down you're not going to bust through that area maybe more of a consolidation and you know that's what we have going on inside the dow diamonds although you were talking about the spies really we've got this consolidating pattern now some of the other things that come with this so if we're trying to understand are the markets potentially topping are they giving us topping signals this or bottoming signals in this case here if we take a look at the column it says a uh, daily uh roads indicator rmi this look at all the confirmed tops that we have utilizing this tool out here in fact if inside the index etfs we've got a top in the spies the Qs, and the iwm using that specific tool out here what this also uh, does for us it helps us to identify what are the td9 counts we talked about that when we looked at the 15 minute time frame chart so these counts are as of yesterday's close i'll get uh, this evening i'll get it as of this evening's close out here but tom when the column here shows a minus eight or minus nine or minus one or plus one and we have a star next to it it tells us that we have a valid bottoming pattern valid td9 count bottoming pattern and that's what took place on friday inside of the tlt so uh, what we also have here, I provide resistance and support levels because it's really all about support and resistance and what's going on. Let me give you an example. The SPY's daily market outlook is in a consolidating bull. For me, what that means is really three things. Number one, the price oscillator, that needs to be above zero. How is that uh, defined on my system? If the line is green, that tells us the price oscillator above zero. That's number one. Price is trading below its oscillator and change line. It's most certainly do that. It's doing that. Now, what's cool about this is the SPIs today have just generated a new profile. When we opened the show, we were talking about profiles for resistance on that two-hour time frame chart. So we have a new profile. We have really uh, a new level of support out here, which is at 447.59. Likewise, 
otherwise, we have a real new resistance level, and it's a bear structured profile. And that says the sellers and the spies are hanging out between 452 and 454 out there. Uh, so uh, you've got so just trying to teach people how how to read this. Here here's an example of the XLK. Uh, this snapshot was about a half an hour ago. It shows us that the bull pattern is over. Why is it over? Because price is trading below its oscillator and change line. Price is trading um, below. It says the top of the profile. So it should be below. It's trading below the uh, bottom of its profile out here. So the XLK is giving us a bearish message out there. So I just want to share with folks some of the tools and how to use that and what's contained inside the newsletter. And folks, it's very easy to get the newsletter. And as you can see, with Steve's lines, this up. You have a confluence of events, which brings yes. you a probability much higher that you're going to be correct in your assessment, folks. Steve, you have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take Thank care. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 362, NASDAQ's up 48, SPs are up 30. So, this is going to get Let's go take a look at, uh, let's see. So, grayscale. I want, let's see, no, I want Bitcoin first. Okay. So, this Bitcoin grayscale suit is making its way through the markets here. This premium here is still 26%, meaning 
if the if grayscale folks grayscale is suing the sec and they're trying to change the structure of the because th this is a trust versus an etf so the bottom line as a trust that can trade under it can trade over right now the bottom line is they actually do have you know the bitcoin so if you added up the bitcoin you know it's saying that you know this is trading at a 26 percent premium you know so the bottom line neg that's a negative premium so you, you're actually getting a deal okay now what has happened is that there's a slew of other companies that are going in to the SEC. Kathy Wood was out there today. Uh, she had at one point been saying that she's going to be the first one out there because she was one of the first ones to apply. And that, that's, that does happen most of the time, okay? But this has gone on for so long that the SEC has had all these papers for long enough. And let's see. So let's see how many firms have actually applied. So you have you have Arc Investment, you have BlackRock, you have Fidelity, you have Wisdom Tree, you have Van Eck, and you have Invesco. Now this is gonna be a trip, man. They have all applied for ETFs. And yeah, okay, so it's a it's a spot bit P, e, spot Bitcoin ETF, which doesn't exist at this point. Because the real key is is like, how do you know what it's worth? Well what gets intriguing here is that there's no doubt I can see why these people you know bottom line if they have already invested in Bitcoin how they can get excited because what does happen is that when you have a structure it was just like when we had the gold structure and then the GLD came into existence okay um, it made a huge difference in the buying and selling so this is gonna get intriguing in itself uh, about exactly, let's pull this Bitcoin up right now. Because what it does is just makes, it makes it just much easier for folks to buy and sell it. That's, that's the bottom line. You know, this Bitcoin still looks to me like it. You had the sign of strength, got back right on, underneath the 31,000 again. That's saying that uh, 26,000 is game again. Let's put this on a monthly and see what this looks like. So on a monthly, we never did, we never even did a 0 0.382 retracement. <laughs> you know, cause, so now, so now picture the other side of this. This is where this gets intriguing. That's why, because what will also happen is that when it is an ETF, you can get as many people selling it. Now this is where the whole spot Bitcoin deal is going to be, I think, at, hey, we'll, we'll find out if they, you know, approve it. But uh, because then what ends up happening, of course, it's just as easy to sell it as to buy it when it's an ETF. So let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities uh, inside the NDX 100 or the movers. Inside the NDX 100 today, you got... Monster Beverage is up 5.7%. You got Bookings up 5.4%. Mercado Libre is up 5%. You got Amgen up 4 Taken away from it. Moderna is down 6 You got Lucent uh, with Car Company. That's off 3 Inside the Dow Industrials. You got Amgen putting 64 positive points. United Health 53. Boeing 40. Only Really, it's only this is pretty impressive. Only Apple is uh, minus 22. The rest of them is like two or three. Now, if we do go over to Apple, this is pretty intense, man. I mean, because Apple was on such a tear, this was quite a break of a trend with conviction. And you're talking about a trend that started at a price point of $143. And in three days, you know, bottom line, we went from uh, 191 to 177. So that's how this is set up. You should get some bounces along the way, but this thing is saying, hey, that's where we want to go back to. So that is pretty, uh, that's pretty intense. Tesla, let's go to Tesla. This is like 
Tesla, I mean, Musk now, I think Musk thinks that he's been living out west long enough that he thinks he, he's, he's probably going to come out with a six shooter or something. Um, and, you know, he's, he's just thinking that, that this is the way it has to be, meaning with him and Zuckerberg. Because if you didn't see this, um, I, I suspect that Musk is basically backing out. So here's the story on this one. This one, this one's like a joke, it's, but it's, it's real. So Musk challenged Zuckerberg to a cage fight. Zuckerberg says, hey, you name the place, I'll be there, right? This is last week, week and a half ago. Bottom line, uh, Musk comes out this morning and saying, oh, he might have to get surgery on this and that. You know what that is, folks? That's is, he's a wimp. That's what's going on. <laughs> he's and what he said, what, what he was saying, is that he had a match with some samurai wrestler, and he's been in pain since then. He's out of his mind. That's the bottom line. I think he's. I, I, who knows? I, but I found it that I thought it was back. I thought it was back in the yeah. And needless to say, and this is, this gets heavier. <clears throat> oh, I didn't know they fired this CFO. That's even heavier. I thought the guy just quit. Uh, let's see this thing for a second. Yeah, I'm not sure if he got fired or he just stepped down and said he was there for 13 years. Um, so that's a big deal. You never want to lose your CFO. Even when, listen, it, when you lose your CFO, it's just a big deal. You know, he's a young guy too. He's been there 13 years, so that's pretty intense. So the chief accounting officer is going to basically take his job. But an accounting officer is not a CFO. A CFO in a public company, um, you know, has the responsibilities are unbelievable. Particularly, you know, you're talking about going to market, markets meaning public markets, pushing out bonds, pushing out equity, um, you know, setting up the whole deal. It, it's, they, they, to me, they almost actually do more than the CEO. That's how they seem, it, that's how it's set up. That's how the job's set up. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials are up 372, Nasdaq's up 56. S&P's up 32. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech 
today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrial is up 374, NASDAQ up 59, S&P is up 33. You know, we were just talking about the must CFO and, you know, raising money and all this. <laughs> He's got so many things happening. It's amazing. So this just came across the tape. He just raised 280 million. Now this is for another company of his, Neuralink. Neuralink, okay, is Elon Musk's brain implant company, okay? Um, yeah, he just posted it. So Neuralink is the best known player in the growing field of brain technology companies. Uh, partly spurred by Neuralink's high-profile investors have backed dozens of other startups exploring similar technologies. Uh, let's see. Neuralink recently received approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to conduct human clinical trials. The company is developing a small device that uses electrode-laced wires to link the brain to a computer. Placing the device requires drilling into the skull. Mark Startup had previously raised concern within animal rights groups for testing on primates earlier this year. The U.S. Transportation began an investigation into the company after an animal advocacy organization had obtained emails suggesting the startup did not follow the proper procedure when shipping hazardous materials. You know, <laughs> I'll tell you, um, when you, if you like the Terminator series, folks, <laughs> I happen to like it. <laughs> um, you, you view, I, I was watching Terminator Genesis the other night. I, I fell asleep. I'm going to watch the end of it. But when you watch that series now, you watch it in a whole new light because the age of the machines are actually here. So it's like, man, this is something else. I mean, because the machines, they're actually in, not, not so much the Terminator, but the machines themselves, right? They're, they're, we're right here with those machines, man. I mean, that's, that's, yeah, it's, it's close. Let's put it that way. It's very close. Pretty wild. Oil. Let's go to the oil market, see what we have happening out here. So you had Saudi Arabia over the weekend putting the squeeze on the oil market. And they kept it, they kept it there. I mean, the bottom line, the oil's still at that 82.34. Uh, when I say put in the squeeze, they reduced uh, the levels of what they're going to be pumping. So if we do CL1, let's go to the generic one so we can roll this. Okay, so... I'm just waiting for this monthly to come up. Come on. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I did this last week. I should remember this. You're right. It's a major resistance here. But you know, you you get a, you get a. So, we're at, you know, let's say eighty three, eighty three to eighty five, maybe. No, eighty three. But if this can break, if this can get to like an eighty five, eighty six, you're gonna do ninety five like a, a heartbeat, and of course. 
It's just like, why not do 100? Just because 100 sounds, sounds good. You know, because we've been here for, let's see, three, five, we've been here for nine months now, trying to push into, into this level. You know, it's certainly not a bounce, that's for sure. Well, when I say certainly not a bounce, I'm talking about the aspect of from highs to lows. You know, you're only at a, a two, three bounce. We go to the XLE, we take a look at the XLE. Yeah, it still doesn't have juice. The XLK, uh, let's go look at the XLK because the XLK is, you know, the, that tracks the performance of uh, technology. And we were just talking about man Steve Rhodes. He was talking about the aspect that uh, you know it had a, a nice top. And let's just see this. So came off the highs with yeah. This is a small ABC down too. You got a small ABC down. You have. Now, see, this one's interesting here. Let me do this again because this one here hasn't broken. It's right at it. Up a little. No, it's down a little. Hey, one second. This hasn't broken its, its uptrend yet. Not like Apple. Let's put it that way. You know, if we take, if we take a look at this, watch. It's right at it. It's right at, you know, it's right at the trend line. You, you, if, if we see this... Break with wide price spread, accelerated volume, uh, bottom line, just, uh, you know, jump the creek. Then this is going to tell us quite a bit. This is going to tell us that the market itself wants to go back to, like, March 15th. And what's March 15th? Let's go let's take a look at that on the March 15th. Yeah, that would be a trip, man. On the, on the SPX, that's, what is that, 3,000? 900 that'd be 600 points be step by step but we know that you know it's the elevator up and the escalator down i mean the escalator up and the elevator down that's kind of how markets move let's go to the gdx and take a look at the gdx as i was saying a little bit earlier today when i was looking at the gold report let me show you what, what you have happening here okay so we're at a bottom of a consolidation. The bottom of the consolidation on the GDX is 28.76. All right. You know, you can see since the uh, since the price point of thirty dollars and thirty three cents, we'll be coming down a light volume. That being said, what we don't want to see if this keeps building cars going sideways. If this keeps going sideways, what's going to be open is that you know is the bottom where the strength is where it came off the lows last time which does get you down to the 2734 that's how that's how a lot of the equities are also set up and the way gold does move it could very well do it and that's that's kind of how it's set up you know you you can get down there you'll fill a couple more gaps you'll do them with light volume and then it rejects the whole thing now what will be intriguing there is that if we take the high to low we did a 50% retracement from the, on the last high, which doesn't really tell us a lot. That's, that's the bottom line. And we go to the, let's go to the, uh, what, now, now there's like a bearish case. A, a bullish case is kind of how Newmont is being set up. New, Newmont has been really weak. That being said, though, what has happened is that, you know, this selling is really the selling is just about abated. When we came off the um, lows in Newmont, Newmont first had 16 million shares and then 13 million. Last week, we had eight, we had seven, we had eight, and today we get three. And that's something that you like to see. And if I put this on a weekly, you're going to see the same deal, you know. And Newmont, of course, is one of the largest gold stocks out there.
Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the dial up 379. NASDAQ's up 69. S&P's up 35. We'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow, Dow and Dush is up uh, 397, NASDAQ's up 75, S&Ps are up 37. If we take a look at the indice volume out here, folks, we are going to be... So we did 9.36 on Friday. This is going to be like, hey, we'll see whether we can get 800. You're at 4.58 right now. It's going to be, some, well, we probably get 8.50. But if we don't even get like 8.50, that's going to tell us quite a bit, meaning that that's a huge contraction of volume. That's inside the NYSE. We go to the composite. Composite come down with 5.4. The composite's going to do probably about 4.8. And if we get over and we take a look at this composite, so the composite this is interesting. Though, so the so the see the composite set up differently than the S and P too, by the way. So the composite, you know, like when we when we take a look at the the July swing high, the uh, this is where this is what stopped this market from going down right now. It it hit it. The top of that was uh, 13,680. No, 680? No, 860. And we hit 13,864 today. Look at this. 
So that's actually saying, what that's actually saying is that we actually went down there with lighter volume. So now we have divergence because the S&P didn't do this. So on the composite, you went down with lighter volume. You rejected lower price, so you're going to get a bounce. <laughs> so it's so interesting, man. And then if we go to the Dow Industrials, let's see what the Dow did. So the Dow, that just has an inside day. That just took everything back that gave it up on Friday. And if we go to the S&P, well, let's do the SPY. The SPY is definitely, now in that context, the S&P is actually weaker. No, it would be stronger still, because it still didn't make it down to the, uh, the level. Yeah. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. Building wealth.